Hello again, I'm Kat Kabira. So here's the cliff notes of what energy work can do for you because I got a little enthusiastic in my last video and I just started talking to you, like geeking out on like the energy field and you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? So um, what energy work can do for you? And just to let you know, I've got my own training in biodynamic, biomechanical, craniosacral therapy, also a lot of shamanic work and um, spiritual psychology and had worked with a practitioner of the Barbara Brennan School for a long time and basically have had my own downloads and working with energy since I was a child. So this has been like my own investigation for 40 years. And what it can help you is that it can work with you on your physical level. So if you've got certain pains, especially ones that just don't seem to be going away um, from the other practical, you know, like osteopath, physio, um, uh, you know, therapists, um, it can actually just help work on a physical level. Like I work with a lot of people who have chronic pain, um, are in wheelchairs, um, you know, like paralysis of their limbs, um, you know, gastro issues, neck pain, migraines, um, uh, frozen shoulder. I mean, we could just do the whole list, vertigo. And why this is so helpful is that on a really simple level, and like, let's trust things that are simple is that you're actually starting to sense, one, is somebody in their body? And then two, once they're in their body, how can we get that flow back? A healthy body is a flowing body. And we can't always control, well, we can't control what life throws at us, but we can build up our own resilience and our own ability to adapt and flow. And so what I do is, one, just helping you get into your body, which may sound easier obvious, but for a lot of us, um, it can be scary to be here, you know, especially those of you who have a, had a lot of trauma or if you're super sensitive, um, it can feel overwhelming where you're like, a part of you is not convinced. Like, I don't want to do this. I'm not in, you know, I'll, I'll play some games. I'm going to go out, come back in. And it's like your initiation is like, how can you be here? And, and that it's not scary, that it's actually fun. And I'm just speaking to you firsthand because I was not a fan of this planet for like a long time, okay? So like one of my like special personal taglines is like, grounding is joyful. You know, that's how you get your real joy. So that can be like an event within itself of like, can we really start to come home and arrive and show up? Because like once you're in you, that's where you can start to own like, why did I really come here? Um, what do I really want to do with like my career path? How do I want to be in service? Um, you know, how can I actually have love and be in relationship in a healthy way? Like you got to be in you. Um, it takes the stress out too, because you're not constantly feeling invaded all the time. Um, and, and then the second thing is just like how to create flow. And there's an intelligence in our system. Like our bodies are way more intelligent than our own special linear logical intelligence. Like there's a reason why our bodies like shut this down. Let's stop going there. Let's overdo this one. So it's having this deep conversation on a telepathic subconscious level of like why your body is behaving this way and what does it need to come back on? And, and it's going into levels that, you know, we, we don't yet have language for, though I'm doing my damnedest to find the language. So that's like the basic with the physical. And I just have to say, like, I've witnessed, and even beyond the training that I've done, because I've extensively trained in, in anatomy, body movement, osteopathy, um, you know, what are the, what actually is healthy body function? And I'm always curious about the things that can't be touched by all the things that we know and where there's like a different intelligence that comes through that creates that kind of freedom and flow. And that, that there's an impact that our emotions and our mental field have on our physical self, that our whole life is contained as a story in our body. So even if we haven't registered things as a trauma, our body might have. And I think that's where, especially because trauma is a tagline right now, um, we almost think like, well, I'm, I'm, I, that wasn't allowed to be traumatic. And it's like, we can't, we don't get to choose. Our body is just going to express what it expresses. So it really is giving space to what your body's carrying and what does it need to actually feel like it can fully show up, fully expand and fully move forward so that you, 
it might be a clearing of, you know, a rewiring of a mental pattern, um, a clearing of emotional pain that like you just never felt safe enough to feel. Um, vestiges of old things that you always wanted to do and you never allowed yourself and finally the body gets to express itself. The ancestral and intergenerational and even collective patterns that even though we're like, I need the science to um, explain this, it's like research shows, you know, we are carrying the memories of our ancestors. It's in our DNA. How do we rewire this? You know, and that comes from energy medicine. I could go on and on, but the reason why it's so important to me is that basically, you know, I was going to be a doctor way back in the day, not knocking it, you know, like there are certain things that like, if I need surgery, I'm going to go to a doctor. Right. Um, but there were certain many things in my life that regular medicine couldn't touch. And then I was like, well, how the fuck do I start to thrive on this planet? So this is where energy medicine comes in. Um, so I encourage you, especially if you're more sensitive, there may be a whole other universe where you get to start to learn like why are things happening in the way that they are and how do you actually feel stronger in your system? And instead of scared, nervous, shy, disempowered, always stuck, um, there is a way through. So reach out to me. You know, I, um, I work online and it's very, very, very potent sessions. And the great news about working online is that like you get a session and then you get to go to sleep immediately after. You don't have to like try to figure out uh, transport and traffic as you're like integrating this, you know, week long uh, <laughs> session that is digesting. So I hope that was clear. Sending you a lot of love. Bye.